a line is graphed and the xy plane is shown, which of the following equations represents the line? They give us a bunch of equations here. And so there's a, several ways we can tackle it. When we look at this, I can see there's two interesting points here. There's the point when x is, let me just write this, and actually let me write it a little lower so we can look at it at the same time that I look at the equation choices. So we see that when x is 0, y is 1. So that is the y-intercept, we could say. And then when we could see when x is 6, y is 0. When x is 6, y is 0. So a very kind of basic way of approaching this is see like, well, when x is 0, y needs to be equal to 1. When x is 0, we get 6y is equal to 1. Well, then y is going to be equal to 1 sixth. Rule that one out. When x is equal to 0, y needs to be equal to 1. If x is 0, then 6y equals 6. Yeah, y is going to be equal to 1. Now when y is 0, x, is going to be need, x needs to be equal to 6. So if y is 0, this goes away, and x is equal to 6. So we're done. This is our choice. Now there's other ways that we could do it. We could write it first in slope-intercept form and then convert to this form right over here. So let's do it that way as well. So we could say that the equation of this line is going to be y, if I write it in y equals mx plus b form, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. We already know that b is equal to 1. So we already know that's 1. And what's the slope? Well, slope is our change in y for given change in x. And we see when our, when our change in x is positive 6, when our change in x is positive 6, our change in y is negative 1. So our slope is we decrease in y by 1 when we increase in x by 6, is negative 1 sixth. So the equation of the line, y is equal to negative 1 sixth x, this is the slope, plus 1. And then we could convert to the forms that we have here. So let's see, we could add we could add 1 6 x to both sides, and you're going to get 1 over 6 x plus y is equal to 1. And that's not quite what we have here. All of here, all the x coefficients, all the coefficients on x are just 1. So we could multiply both sides of this times 6, and we would get x plus 6 y is equal to 6, which is exactly the choice that we picked.